Obviously, I know you guys are getting ready for Texas Tech, but also it'd be time for your young guys to get some bowl reps and get some of that experience. Uh, who's some of your guys, the young guys you're watching? Yeah, three guys for me is John Lewis, you know, Ty Cooper, and then uh, Nick Jarrett. They're all three out there rotating right now, uh, getting a lot of reps in these team periods in seven and seven and one on one pass rush. And so it's a great, to me, it's a great setup because you get a jump on spring ball for those guys. You're just, you know, working base calls, base technique, and, and, uh, you know, you, you really, all those reps add up. So I'm excited to see those guys run around. John, to me, is the one out of the three that's, he's been really, really improved. I'm excited about what he's shown. So I'll just continue to improve as we go through this bowl prep. You got to look at the future yesterday with some guys you brought in. I, I know you uh, were on Khalid Moore pretty hard. I asked you to talk about him a little bit and what and other guys that you were on that mm -hmm. you signed yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was pretty excited about the all three of the linebackers, you know, Khalid, is a guy who comes from a good program down there, great family, they expect him to work hard. He expects a lot of himself. Uh, he's a tough, hard-nosed football player that plays with high effort, high motor. And I'm just excited to get him here because he's the type of guy that, that fits in perfectly here and will add to you know what we, what we expect. Um, and then Avery Sledge is a long athlete, played quarterback, played safety, played linebacker. Uh, and his ceiling is so high because of the program he's been in and then the fact that he's a three-sport athlete, you know, basketball and baseball. So as he adds weight and gets in a, in a program that always focused on his football, uh, he's got a huge, huge future. Javay Gilmore, kind of the same thing. Long, athletic, has framed to add weight. Guy that's played three sports, you know, entire high school career. And just when he focuses on one thing, eating, you know, lifting, getting bigger, focusing on football from a fundamental standpoint, he's got uh, a lot of upside. So. All those guys I'm excited You've been about. doing this for a long time. When you see a guy like Jave, who is also the leading receiver on his team, and a guy like Avery Sledge, who was starting quarterback for his team, I mean, how much does that stuff jump off at the tape of you when you see their type of athleticism? Oh, I love it. I mean, I think any time. Our, in our defense, to me, that's the best thing about our defense. It's, uh, it's so multiple that you can get a guy like that, and, and you don't have to just slate him into one spot. You know, he can, he can do a lot of different things for you, whether it be on the line of scrimmage or off the ball. And so a guy that has played at all different levels of defense and then also on the offensive side, it just so shows their versatility. Um, I know he he don't talk much anyway, but I know Tyrus hadn't come out and officially said that he's coming back, but it sounds like he's coming back for another year. How big of a boost is that for that defense? Well, that would be the number one signing, uh, signee right there, you know, if we get him back. That would be that would be huge for our defense because he's a guy that – uh, you speak about Javay's versatility or Avery's versatility. Well, Tyrus is the same guy. You know, he played safety at Amit High School. He played safety at Codeland, I believe, and then and now he's just progressed. And the thing that I keep talking to him about is, you know, Tyrus really hasn't had an opportunity to develop fundamentally other than last spring ball, you know, and then this past fall camp. So he's got a lot of upside to his uh, his game right now as well. And we just hope to continue to add to that. What are you looking for? Uh, I know you can't say specific names for special teams. You're looking to add some guys? Yeah, no question. I mean, we've got to add depth and we've got to add immediate competition to, to fix it, you know. And so, uh, yeah, like you said, I can't speak on specific names. There's a couple of things in the works right now uh, going on behind the scenes. So uh, we just got to finish. From your perspective, with your group or team overall, how – how much pep in the step they have since y'all got back together for preparation? Uh, I thought the first day we, we kind of jug around a little bit, and I thought the last few days have been really good. Yeah, I thought they came out and worked hard and, and been efficient with our reps, and, and uh, I've been pretty excited so far uh, how those last three practices have went.